Hi guys, welcome back. Um, glad to see you all uh, subscribed. Um, what I today what I'll be showing you is, or well, teaching you if you're not aware of this already, uh, uh, the different options that Microsoft 2016 has to offer you, or the different uh, settings, programs, documents that you can create on Microsoft 2016 with the new, with the new packages. Okay, so if you have Microsoft 2016, go into your open up a word doc open up your word program okay and on your home page this is what it will actually look like now if you notice on here um, there's various options that you can choose from what we'll be doing today is if you have a look here it will show you how to create your own your very own calendar that's quite awesome I found it quite interesting that you can actually make your own calendar so if you dub, if you go into that uh, snapshot calendar, um, this is the pop-up that will actually come up, okay? And it will say select a month, uh, select a month and year to create a calendar. So we'll select July 2019. We'll press OK, and it will automatically create the page for you. This is quite fantastic. When I had a look at it, I was quite amazed at the way it, it appears. Okay, when you press the OK button. Um, it will bring up the actual calendar that's created for you, for the for the month and the year. If you have a look at this, you can change the photo. If you click on the photo that they have there, in this case they've got a bird, you can change the photo to whatever you'd like it to be, whether it's yourself, a friend, a family member, your children, your kids, a cartoon character, whatever the case may be, you can have that photo changed. If, as I said, on the double arrowed cursor, you right click and you format your shape. Um, you can first delete the shape, input your own shape, put in your photo and, and crop your photo accordingly. July, you can change the month if you'd like. From July, you can make that August, June, or you can just do so in the beginning where we had inputted the month. You can do it from scratch um, for each, each month. You can always change it in the beginning. You've got the option of auto changing the year as well, but it would be preferable if you do that in the beginning of the page that we had created automatically and you don't have to go and do it yourself. Because remember, when you do it in the beginning of the page, it will automatically cal calculate the day versus month, etc. Now, if you change it on here, that might not necessarily fall in order. Okay. The title, you can make your own title, own description, put in your own description, own title of your calendar. And there you have it, all the days for the month of July are there with the correct date, etc. And then you can also just type what you have scheduled for each day and have it saved. How great is that? You can actually just create your own personalized calendar and you can have it saved. One other thing is if you look at this, the green, the gray, the orange, it might not suit your preference or the color that you'd like to have it. So if you look at your toolbar on the top of your screen, it says themes. It will give you the various themes and options that you can use. Then it will give you the color option. Okay, and it will give you the fonts, what font you'd like. So instead of having the July in that font, etc., you can always change your font. So you can play around and see which, which will suit you best. Okay, on colors, um, let's have a look. I think I would rather go with, um, let's see. No, that's a bit too much. I actually like the blue. I actually like this. So I'm going to go with the blue. If you have a look, it's changed automatically and you now got a blue and gray color. If you have a look, you can also at the top bar as well, it gives the options of selecting new dates. So if you go on there, you don't have to go back to the first page, as I said previously. It's on the screen as well. So if you click on there, you can always change the change the the month so say we'll use august that will be a new month we'll go 2019 press ok it automatically changes and that's your new page okay and you save it as is so each time that you want to create your calendar for the new month you can just do so this is quite fantastic because you can actually create your entire year's calendar um, whether it be for 2020 or for 2019 you can create your own entire year calendar um, with your preferences as well, with your own photo, with your own subtitles. Um, so yeah, that's fantastic. Anyway, guys, let me know if this this um, this was a helpful video. Please subscribe to my channel and 
few comments below, uh, add a comment below, let me know what you think, um, and I'll, we'll be posting new videos real soon. Okay, thanks for your time, bye-bye.